Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Layla. Thank you for clicking on the video. I hope that you enjoy it and consider subscribing if you are not. To all of my OGs, my followers, my viewers, my subscribers, hey y'all. Welcome back to another video. I hope that you enjoy this one. So I know that I have a um, what's in my bag video on this one on my DE Never Full MM. Um, so I'm not going to bore you guys with that one. But this is the bag that I carried all week last week because it was ugh, yucky and brain in here. Um, and I didn't want to, you know, have to be stressing about the vaquetto on my other and Never Fulls are constantly tossing it in my emergency bag <laughs> that I keep in there. Um, but I did want to move my items from here into this other bag that I got. So I'm going to show you guys that bag and then we're going to get started. I have not even taken all the wrapping and everything off this other one. So hopefully everything fits um <laughs> and I'm not gonna be like unwrapping it and then have to take a trip back to the mall <laughs> to return this one so what ha happened was I'm not doing well on no spin we'll just just put that out there if I haven't already in another video but anyway um basically I needed to go ahead and you know purge and redo my um panty drawer so I went ahead and tossed everything in there and got some new ones and I usually just buy mine online versus going in the store and kind of getting the ones that's all picked over and touched and stuff sometimes I'll do that if I'm in the mall and I was doing something else anyway and then I just washed them before I wear them but most times I order mine online um from Vicky so anyway they were having one of their little sales, 7.35 or something like that. So I went ahead and picked some up. Um, and I was like, well, let me just peek around and make sure there's nothing I need. Why the hell did I do that? Because I need, that's why. <laughs> but anyway, I did that and they were running a three for $88 special. Now this was back pretty much almost a month ago, um, but roughly three weeks ago. This is when we were on the way back from the cabins um, and it was hubby's turn to drive. So when he was driving, I was just kind of doing my shopping online. But anyway, they were running the three for 88. So I picked up this bag, which is not new. Um, it's been around for some time. I've eyeballed it for some, some time, but I've never actually picked it up. They never have these in the store, in my store. And honestly, I don't even remember what it's called. I know the color is blush pink. Um, I know they call it that, but I don't remember what they call the bag. Um, yep, they don't say it on here. Gotta love that. Okay, so I'll try to find the name and pop, pop that up on the screen so that you guys know. But essentially, it's a blush pink. Um, so it's a large tote bag with chain handles. And then since it was three for 88, essentially you get a bag, you get a wallet, and then you could get like a card holder or another wallet if you wanted to. Um, or an actual charm, like a, what do you call it? I mean, you call it a bag charm. Most of us use it as a bag charm, but essentially it's a keychain. So I did go ahead and pick up a keychain. I got this one with the cute little butterflies. I thought it was absolutely adorable. Um, and I thought it would be cute on here in addition to other bags. Like, um, I probably could also put this on my Escale Speedy. Um, or maybe even my By the Pool Neverfull. I think the colors would go very, very pretty. I haven't dressed them up yet to see, but I'm sure it would be cute. But my plan is to just toss her on here and probably add a poof ball. Um, so anyway what i want to do today i know in this wallet it's called like the compact zip wallet i think um on vicky's it's very close to the never the never full <laughs> it's very close to the louis vuitton um what's it called zippy coin purse i think is what they call it um the only difference is the section that's in the middle right here doesn't have an opening for you to put a card in it like it does in the louis vuitton one and i do own one of them um in monogram and i don't know if you guys have seen the new pastel it's called sunrise pastel is the name of the new collection they've got a couple different colors and stuff but the line i'm in love with of course that has the purple um um, it's called the Sunrise Pastel. So they do have a zippy coin purse in that print. I will be getting it. Um, my essay already knows. Please and thank you. Invoice me as soon as you can for that wallet as well as the matching Never Full. Y'all already know I could have been like completely down and out sick in bed if you got purple i'm gonna get up and cough along to get that but anyway so i'm gonna move my stuff in here off camera because of course it's a wallet i'm just not comfortable with that um i'm currently in because i just carried my little michael kors manhattan bag so i'm currently in this one all of my wallet items are in this one so i'm gonna take them all out i'm gonna fit the essentials in here and then i'm just gonna either carry my um probably Louis Vuitton Rosalie coin purse I think is the name of it um or either the card holder it just depends on how many cards I can fit in here comfortably let me see does this one have three spots or two yeah see this one only has two on the side whereas the other one has three so anyway we'll get that together off camera but I did want to do kind of a like reverse what's in my bag with you guys and just kind of show this one um I would normally cut this but I'm not just in case um, stuff doesn't fit. Louis, Louis, Vicky's usually isn't overly picky. Um, if this stuff isn't on there, like the plastic, but pretty sure they'll have a problem with returning it 
if the tag is, you know, cut off and can't be put back on. Sure. Doesn't want to stand up, does it? And it does not have feet on the bottom. Um, if anybody was wondering, there's no feet on the bottom of her, which I'm fine with. Of course, I love a good bag with feet on the bottom. That's always a bonus. Um, but when it doesn't have it, I'm not like superly, super picky about it. Superly. What is superly? Is that even a word? Get it together, Layla. So, I am going to take all the plastic off the hardware and they can get over themselves if they have a problem with that because, of course, I want to fill her up in addition to, you know, see how she looks real time um, without all the plastic and stuff. And then, of course, like I said, move into her for the week and carry her. It's been a long time um, since I've owned a Vicky's bag. I haven't had one in a quite a while, but like I said, the 3 for 88 deal I thought was really good. Um, it even made, you know, the price of your charm cheaper. This bag is normally, it's not a whole lot. I think it's 100 Yeah, it's $98 regularly by itself. So it's really not that bad um, compared to what we pay for other stuff. But it's it's nice. So this is what the inside looks like. Oh, the chain is moving. Um, there is a zipper pocket back here. Then there's one of those little, like, slip pockets right here, which has that little mirror. If you guys have ever seen it, the film is still on it, so it shouldn't blind you guys too much. And then on the back, it does say Victoria's Secret. So, I kind of like that it comes with that. That's pretty neat. You can, you know, slip that into other smaller bags. Then you've got your center section here that has, like, an open compartment. Um, and then you've got another large section on this side. And then there is a little slip pocket down here. So, one of my cons to a lot of bags is, excuse me, the inside being black. Now, the bomb part is it's wipeable. It's not like the Louis, you know, textile fabric and all that other stuff that can bleed on some of your items. Like, you should put baby pink inside of red, that concept. Um, so having the solid black and the fact that you can wipe it is a bonus. However, it's black. It's boring. <laughs> it's boring inside of a bag. It's just how I feel. My opinion, please don't come for me in the comments. Um, but that's just how I feel. I don't usually like black interior. Um, but I really like the chain on this bag and the way that it looks. It, it fits my shoulder nicely. So definitely wanted to go ahead and pick her up and use her. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I know I'm keeping this bag charm, so pop that off. Okay, so we got that together. So let me see, the labels, oh, the labels on the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this film off. At least I hope I can peel it off. Press ons are long. There we go, got it. And it doesn't wanna come off my hand. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put, I wonder if that's gonna be a pain in the butt that it moves. So much. Can this fit through there? Or is it stuck on the chain? It might be stuck on the chain. Does this snap? Oh, good, it snaps. Okay, so I personally like my bag charms and stuff to be on this side of the bag. I'm trying to see which way the logo was on. Um, why does it seem like that? Close it off. I would normally do this facing me, but I'm trying to make sure you guys can see and enjoy the video. Um, I normally put my bag charms on this front portion. I like it to be like in the front, kind of, you know, near the front of my shoulder, the front of my body, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, because I feel like that's where it gets more play. It gets viewed easier and it looks pretty that way. So, all right, so let's, maybe I should drop that. Yes, we can see how it looks. All right, so she has double straps, but they move. So I guess if you wanted to wear it as a longer bag, you could, it probably looks weird. I haven't done it yet. Um, but this is how she looks this is gonna drive me bananas i am probably going to move that yep so let's try clipping that onto this ring and then maybe i'll like how it sits better because right now i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it it's cute but i'm okay so that looks much better all right so that is a start so i have no idea how i want to do her um i think i'll do her the same as i do my other stuff usually so of course, the zipper pocket on the inside is not as voluptuous as I normally like mine, but let me grab my goodies, and they are still on my desk from me doing the um, What's in My Bag, Michael Kors Manhattan. So we've got brush strips, chapstick, lotion, my keys, where are my AirPods? My AirPods, and that's usually all I keep in that spot. I usually take the taser, make sure she's off, and clip it on the little side pocket there 
Alrighty, I don't know what's going to go in this zipper pocket. I'm going to take this Bath and Body Works coupon and put it in that slip pocket I showed you on the other side. And then most of this stuff came out of, well, except for the pen. I need to put the pen. Where did I put the other bag? Oh, way on my bed. I don't know that. Put the pen back in that other bag because she is definitely matching that Manhattan and I want to leave her there. So we'll pretend my goodies are in the wallet already. So I'll put that on the side closest to me. Um, in here, I usually keep my power bank, my tissues, and then my like infamous pill case. So, not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. I might just switch it to one of my other prints, like maybe the by the pool or the um the DA one, just so it looks prettier and it's not so dark inside this black bag. Um, this is of course the Victorine wallet I was in, so we'll move that there. So this pouch has my extra mask in it. I showed this in the DA, what's in my bag there I posted not too long ago, so I'll put that on that side. Um, this pouch is the Minnie Mouse pouch that I had shown that I got from TJ Maxx recently. It's kind of slim, but it's perfect to hold my personal size planner. So I I'm going to put her on this side. Should fit nicely. And what else do we have? I'm going to switch this to my pink one. Um, gosh, it looks like the lighting just went so much darker. Hmm. Anyway, um, I'm going to switch this to the pink one. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. And then I'm going to put that little, how do you say this thing again? Sarps. Cyber Kurgle, I don't know, this tiny little sticky ball that I talked about. Again, I do like the ball. I just wish that it was bigger so it could roll around a little bit more and maybe clean up a little bit more. So this is my little emergency bag I was talking about that I put my Vaquetta bags in so I can take that out because I won't need it. Um, in this bag, I was using my Toiletry 19 as my catch-all pouch. Um, it's kind of large, so oh no, let me see. See if this can fit in here. I think it can. What else needs to go in here? Sunglasses. It's got nine. Um, it probably can fit. I think it should be fine. So let me put some of these goodies on my desk that come out came out of here. Excuse me. Um, back in here. So we've got nail glue, re wetting drops, my um, Juvia's Place lip gloss, my other pack of mints, so that's everything right, yep, and then my hand sanitizer, I'll grab my other little, um, I don't know what I little call it, my little pouch <laughs> that I put on the front of the bag, I'll grab that and put the hand sanitizer in. So normally when I carry the Louis Vuitton bags, I use my actual key clay to hold my hand sanitizer and I like how it fits in there easily. I can zip it up, it's upright, it's not gonna spill. If that freaks you out, I'm sorry. Um, but mine works nicely and it does kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like it fattens the pouch up a little bit, just perfect so that if you ever wanna use this as your wallet or as your card case, which I might do that too, carry it in here to hold my other cards. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I really love using it in there. So whenever I carry bags that aren't Louis Vuitton, I have two or maybe three other ones that are like different patterns. So I'll probably put the little unicorn one that I have on here because it's white and pink. So I will put my hand sanitizer in that. And then the only thing left to move over, let me double check nothing's in the pocket. Nope, I'm wrong. So I have my pen, my tool pen in my case so that it doesn't write on anything. Um, let me see. Yep, I put it in the usable pouch where I normally do. I have my sunglasses, and I don't know if you guys um saw some of my other bag, other what's in my bag videos. If you're new here, you probably did not. <laughs> but if you're an OG, if you're one of my returning viewers or subscribers, you've seen it. I, you guys have heard me talk about um cutting off that tag that was on here as far as that coach tag to help you clip it inside of things. I decided to do it. So here she is. <laughs> let me show you. Here she is, she has been cut off. So that's maybe something that someone may want to use for their keychain. Jazzy might want to use it to clip it inside of her book bag. Who knows? So I'm not going to throw it away, but I, it was driving me bananas being on here. I'm just, that's not what I'm used to. My other sunglass cases or even eyeglass cases don't have that. So it was driving me bananas. But I love how colorful this is. Um, it really stands out in your bag. It's super easy to use. As you saw, let me not say that in my <laughs> Michael Kors Manhattan what's in my bag video this was not in there this could fit if I really squeezed it in there but of course it was it would have taken up some space so what I usually do when I carry crossbody bags is take my shades out and either put them in a softer pouch which I'm scared to do because I have broken a pair of glasses before so nine times out of ten what I do is either clip them on my shirt or put them on my forehead most times they're on my head um, and it's just easier for me to kind of keep them somewhere and safe without being worried about them breaking 
um the last thing i have is just going to be sky nine so we will place her in here let me see where she go my planner is on the bed so i'm trying to like check the space and see oh yeah she should be able to fit on that side so i'm gonna move her on that side so she's the opposite side of where my wallet is and where my catch-all pouch will be so this bag hmm, i think i had a peppermint <laughs> So this bag is completely empty in all her red glory. So I will give her a little wipe down and pack her back up and put her in my bag cabinet. And if you haven't checked out that video, if you're new here, you totally should. So catch all pouch have now has all the goodies in it. So we're just going to stick that in there and bam, she good to go. All of me goodies fit. So give you guys a quick overview. Hopefully nothing falls out. So again, this is the zipper pouch. I always keep that part closest to me no matter what bag I carry because it's my favorite. I like to be able to stick my hand in it with the bag on my shoulder and get my keys or get an ink pen or whatever the case may be. Sometimes I'll take it off, but for the most part, I like having my stuff that close. I actually didn't end up putting anything in this inside zipper pocket. So in this bag, I may be able to capitalize on that space and take this pouch out um, and either put the mask in here loosely or just put this whole pouch in there. So we'll kind of play around with that um, once we switch some other stuff like switching the pin pouch to the pink one and all that. So over here I've got everything. I've got the wallet, um, the other card holder that I add. I'll just either put it in this zipper pocket or put it over here. I've got my toiletry 19 right here. I've got my sunglasses here, the little roller balls at the bottom rolling around. On this side you have the mask pouch. You have the... Um, Felici pouch, which is my pen pouch. It's got my five favorite mouth liners and a tool pen in there. You've got the mini mouse pouch right here, and I'll put my planner in it later because, of course, I'm going to be playing in that today. I've got Sky Nine over here in the corner, and then I've got the DE pouch down here at the bottom. And then I put my Bath and Body Works coupon there, and then I just left that mirror in the little slit that it's in right there. So that's how she looks all packed up. And let's see how she looks on. Trying to get these even and flipped right. I don't know about y'all, but I'm like super OCD with the way I carry my straps. I don't like them to be flipped out. Even in the Neverfull, I like them to look a certain way before I put it on. So let's see. Ooh, look at her. She's a cute little big Bertha. Okay, then. All right, Layla. Mm-hmm. She's a cute little pink. I like, I like, I like. She's very comfortable with the leather straps being the part that's on your shoulder and not the chain. I have recently learned that chain straps, <laughs> they hurt if your bag is full. So that's how she looks on me. Let me see. If I was going to do like a little arm carry, I wouldn't because of how long the straps are. That would look weird. But this is how she would look as an arm carry. And that is her. She is gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. I just thought I would kind of do a little bag switcheroo on camera and that would be like a cool way to do what's in my bag. Sometimes I find those to be even more entertaining to me um, than just the traditional what's in my bag. So I thought that would be pretty cool to switch over. And like I said, I've already done a what's in my bag in the DE. So no need to do that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see all you guys in the next video. Bye.